like i know departments i know first glimpse of failure not just you who is going through the situation hand skills are awesome i didn't succeed dentistry is not easy not at all will deduct will never come back so never ever forget to enjoy your first and talk to them they will give you a lot of tips hey guys i hope you are doing well you know my exams are going on and uh, my professional exams are from 13th of december and today it's uh, 1st of december so you can understand my internal was just there on the month of november so yeah the whole months are going hectic but today i just thought as you have seen in the thumbnail that many of us many of us are very scared of first year because we don't even know what is going to happen and the most most hectic and the first glimpse of failure we can see in the dentistry from carving the wax carving for the incisors canine premolar molar and you know this is not just you who is going through this situation i mean you are alone you are doing it for the first time and you think that you are the one who is going through all those things and your friends knows everything because yes let's just admit that yeah there are people who literally does the carving in a great way they know how to carve and their like hand skills are awesome whereas like mine i was not that much good like in carving and uh, it took me a while my hands were cut sometimes because i used to practice it and i didn't succeed i mean <laughs> i if, if i think of those days you know the carving was like a mediocre carving you know and still i got the sign this is the reason i'm talking about this uh, particular thing because i have received a plenty of messages and uh, i thought of like making this video because i think this is literally crucial to talk about this topic because i just thought that this is a very normal thing which had happened to me but i think many of us are going through the same thing again and again and i must be clear with this point because i have gone through this situation too but here i am in second year i passed my dental anatomy dental histology exam and the carving part as well so yeah so yeah bless me <laughs> anyways uh, the thing is you don't need to be perfect for carving you know and dentistry is all about hand skill hand work but every hand skill every hand work needs a lot of time lot of effort now the first thing for dental anatomy dental histology is carving because you know we are new to this environment new to dentistry and we don't even have quite much ideas about what is tooth anatomy you know we just know yeah we have tooth and the functions are like grinding and we eat food we need it for masticatory forces and all those stuff this are just common but what is it actually so to give a brief about that you just need to carve it so that you you understand what is cast what is pits what is fissures because these are the scientific term because you are going to be a dentist so let's just admit it and that is the only reason why you need to carve for the cusp things now i want to be very specific at this point of time because you guys are like <laughs> literally like crying i understand that it, i have talked with many of you and you guys are like frustrated i understand so hear me out you don't need to be perfect at it at all because the cusp or all those things are much more important when you come to conservative dentistry which is in second year so it was cons which made us like all of us understood what is basically the importance of the cusp and how we can identify a tooth you know identification of a tooth is important but first year will never let this happen to you it's it's just not that easy to identify a tooth you pick up it and in first year you can say yeah there are people who can do that i admit that but you don't need to be that perfect one like if you are somebody who want to be like i am the mr perfect i am the miss perfect then please don't watch my video unsubscribe me don't follow me at all i am not at all perfect and i i'm okay with that i'm like imperfectly perfect i think and i think most of us are like that i'm not genius so i'm just a human being who is trying to figure out life just as you guys so in conservative dentistry you will learn and you have to draw the graphs you know you have to draw the graphs of the tooth and at that time you will understand much more again you have to come in second year again you have to draw the graphs you know now in first you are just drawing the graphs but in second year you have to literally draw the graphs and uh, be very particular because questions will be asked 
also you have to buy tooth for the cavity preparation so while buying tooth you have to understand what is 47 what is 37 what is 25 you know you have to be very conscious and trust me guys it wasn't a very it wasn't a very mindful effort that I was very serious about. I have to understand which tooth is which one and okay. So I wasn't like that. It was a practice. I didn't skip my cons practical class at all. So practical classes, I had like put all my 100% effort and that effort had made me realize now I understand okay this is 47 this is 37 and why it is 47 and why it is 37 and it wasn't like bookish knowledge it was all about doing the practical work and learning with the teacher and the friends that is all it is and so don't just be too much frustrated about what will happen what will i do i am a failure i am good for nothing i didn't got chance even in mbbs and now in bds i can't even carve and i am a complete failure i understand these things happen see i am saying this because i failed the same way but trust me guys trust me you can totally trust on me and uh, after first year you will understand theek hai. it's it's Chalta hai. You know, in second year, you will be much more frustrated. <laughs> I understand that and it's a part and parcel of life. Dentistry is not easy, not at all. So, but that doesn't mean that any other field will be easier. Every field has its pros and cons, right? So, just don't worry and don't think that this will deduct your marks. I mean, Talk to your seniors how they have passed their this carving exams and i am sure i'm not talking about all those stuffs here but trust me your seniors had a lot more plans during their exams and talk to them they will give you a lot of tips and that will be very helpful so i end this video here and uh, i am very very grateful to the people who have subscribed who have always supported me i will see you guys in the next video and there are a lot of vlogs that will be coming but i am not able to just edit them process the whole process because second year is equivalent to final year it's very tough it's literally difficult guys so keep moving and keep enjoying your first year this year will never come back and i'm saying you from my experience first year will never come back so never ever forget to enjoy your first year no matter what others are telling you the departments are behaving with you like i know departments i know i have gone through this my friends have gone through this my seniors have gone through this you will be going through this as well right so give a high five and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep improving and keep living a happy life. Bye-bye.